Okay, so I just got done making my KT Contagious folder, which I'm going to need to cut off some sides. So I'm not really done yet because I'm going to decorate it with duct tape. I'm using pink, although I have many other colors it's right there. And this is from my American Girl doll. Um, this is from Molly. Um, I'm not... Molly's favorite color is pink. Because, yeah, I don't know why. I'm just guessing. I just want to make it pink. So, I'm going to call it the Pretty in Pink folder. So, yeah, I'm going to trim off the excess and I'm, then I'm going to decorate it. I'm just going to do a video on me decorating it for some reason. I don't know why. I'm just bored. Hold on. Get me scissors. I'd like to do stuff like uneven, and then I just level it out by just cutting. Sorry that in most of my videos I have to like click this button thing. So trim here. Okay, I think this is pretty good. Um, I love the tutorial on how to make this because it's really cool because it really does look like a folder. So I, you're, what you're gonna need to decorate it, um is a marker if you want but i'm not doing that i'm just going to use um, um let me cut this off a piece of paper about this size that is really uneven hold on Okay, wait, that's not even even. Okay, so what you're going to need to decorate it, um, well, if you're decorating it my way, if you're just going to color or whatever on it, since I used white, I don't really like how it looks because it looks like nothing, really. So, uh, what you're going to need is scissors, a piece of any kind of paper, even though I already cut mine out. It's this thing. So, if you already have a piece, yeah, good, whatever. Um, the color, like, if any color yarn, I'm using pink, and any color duct tape, I'm using pink. Molly? Wait, no. I'm going to do this for... Yeah, I'm going to do this for Molly. Because Molly likes the pink. Kanani likes purple, I guess. And Julie likes green. Like me. Um, I actually like green and purple and pink. So, I don't know. <laughs> I like all of them. So... I'm going to try to rip this. Oh, and you will need the scissors because you're going to have to cut this. Or you can rip it. I don't care. And you're going to have to cut the yarn. Or you can rip it. No, you can't. Well, you can rip it. If you can't. I don't know. Don't ask me. So you're going to get your duct tape. Mine's facing the other way. Get this. And put it to the edge. Take your time. <laughs> okay, so get it like that and wrap to the other side.
Did I just flatten it? Just put it straight on the table. And then cut the duct tape. Now you can just cut off the excess, which obviously there's a lot of there online. You could just fold it down. Well, you should fold it down, but I don't like. I don't think I want to do that. I don't recommend this, but this will happen. I had to cut off excess at the bottom, so you're gonna have to retape it. But I'm about to do that right now. I don't care if you can see it or not. <laughs> it's gonna be a folder. It doesn't matter. Folder. Did you take Nina for those egg like, bully? I don't know. Okay, so I just retaped it at the bottom, and now it looks like that on one side. You gotta make sure it still bends because you're using duct tape on it. Mine doesn't really stay shut now. But so you're just gonna have to end up taping it shut if it has to stay shut. I mean, it could be on a desk like this. Or you could just put like one of those sticky back tapes. But I'll show you how to make a sticky back tape if you have no idea what I'm talking about. But, yep. Yeah, I'll show you. I'm not going to do a whole tutorial on sticky back tape because it probably might be the most easiest thing ever to do. Okay, so repeat the step you did a couple minutes ago. Take your time. Keep pulling if you need to. Okay, and then you cut. Okay. No, I don't want to cut the side. Okay. Excess. So I barely have any excess, so I'm just going to take it down. Actually, I'm going to cut it off. Because it's I don't have much excess to even take down, so... You can tell I'm just now doing this because this is beginner. So I'm gonna decorate the outside is it first and now and soon I'll do this part and then I'll show you how to make little papers for it and stuff like that. Um so now just get this piece of paper that you have or you have I'll give you a couple seconds to get that done 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so yeah i said i was making this photo for molly so just try to write it as fancy as you can if it's a girly girl sloppy if it's a tomboy well not sloppy because julie writes good so i don't know just write it however your doll would write it like I don't know.
And then I'll do a little smiley face. This is what Molly's would look like. And now, I'm just going to get one huge piece. Well, it's not huge. And then I'm going to, I guess you could say, dissect it into four pieces. It doesn't have to be all the same length. Length. And I'll show you how to dissect it on there later. Well, I should do it now, shouldn't I? Let me just tape this to the cardboard so that I can not race the sticky. Okay. Getting the camera. This is tape, obviously. So, take off a piece of tape until you see the line. Where the line is, or maybe a little bit after, rip. See, there's a line right there. So now, put it onto here again. Where, however you want the big other tape to go. So, like that. This is kind of confusing. So... I'll switch the tape around. Okay. And then just pull that. So you got one piece. And then pull that up. Make where you want it. And then put it on. Rip. And then just put it there one time, where it's equally. Well, it doesn't have to be. And then you have all four pieces. I hope that helped, because if it didn't, you're just going to have to make it kind of sloppy, won't you? <laughs> or you could staple it, but I don't suggest stapling it, because that's really not the best idea. So, you're going to get your tape thing and I'm gonna put mine sideways cuz my folder is too skinny but yours might not be so I gotta put mine sideways on the edge of the paper wait maybe I could trim the excess and don't ask me why I did not trim off smiley face cuz Every doll gets a little charm on theirs to me. And I think Molly wanted a smiley face charm on. Yeah, wow, weird. Uh -huh. well, we up on top of here. So, oh yeah, it works. Right there. It works if you have to cut off excess. So... Get your tape and put it on every side. If you have to tape inside of the folder, that's okay. Like this. So just put it there. Wait. Okay. So just put it there and then just tape it inside. Doesn't matter if you tape inside, I don't really it doesn't really care. Like it doesn't really matter. It doesn't care. Or if you have to tape some more right here. Oh, this is hard. Like, put it a little bit over the M. And then just fold it to the other side. And then you got the outside done. If you want to add anything else, like little shapes for math. Or write what the folder's for. I mean, this is going to be like 
a homework corner. I'm gonna so just get another piece. Like I have this spare piece and write homework with like a little A plus plus symbol or something. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Grandma, can you turn that off? No. I'll do it a video. Sorry if you can hear the fan in the background. It's just really hot in my nanny's house. So, yeah. I have to cut off the A++ because there's not really enough room for it. But if you have enough room and if you wrote small, because I don't, um, you can write it. But I'm just going to use this. And it will be really cool if like you do it like sideways. That's what I'm doing. And I'm just going to use... Um, Two long pieces of tape. I'm just gonna get. So first, one long piece of tape. Then level it out, and then just rip it on the tape thing, like the um thing I showed you a couple minutes ago. I'm not gonna call it rippy tape. Rip it. The tape. Did you finish your rice? No. If we have to put it over the homework, that's fine too. And then just get two smaller pieces. If there's excess, like right here, I'm gonna use those as the smaller pieces. Okay, so then you're just going to cut here. Well, this is how you do it. Like, so easy. All you got to do is cut. And then... Yeah. Well, Molly, and then it says homework. So, yeah, that's cool. Um. <laughs> What's Molly doing? I'm sick. Okay, so then you get um this again. Make sure you leave some room for the yarn on the front. Because we're gonna do that last, because that's not really the most yeah, important yeah. part of the video. That's 18 minutes. Wow. Cool. I'm just gonna cut this. Every detail doesn't count, so you don't really gotta be like, OMG, this video is so long. Because you could just skip ahead if you don't care about the details. I just spend my time, like, trying to make a good video. But you could skip ahead if you want. I don't care. And then, if you still have some more room right here, Get another tiny piece. I'm not sure how many minutes I got. Like, it might shut off at 20, so I'm just going to make a part two. <laughs> Hold up. Really sorry, this is very long. I have a little bit more. I'm trying to do, do all the detail. Yeah. <laughs> so it might go off. I'm going to see. I'm going to watch. Nope. Yay. Sorry, 
this is very long. I'm very sorry. Like 20 minutes. Actually, it is 20 minutes. Okay. So, <coughs> I'm going to show you how to do a sticky back tape. Get a piece of tape that's all the way to the line on the tape. Ow, I touched myself. And then, this is the sticky side. <laughs> do this, put your finger in there, and then just, or just do this. And then I will just fold it again just in case it's too big. And I'm just going to put it right here. Right about here. It's just so that the folder sticks together and it sticks to the paper because that's why it's called sticky back because it sticks one side, it sticks the other. So, yeah. So, I have some excess yarn, but I'm going to use real. Well, not real, but it's real, duh, yarn. <laughs> and I'm just going to cut about back here, this long. And then you're just going to make, like, something on the back or something, but I'm putting mine on the back. See? See how well it sticks? Stick. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this because this is way too much. Beep. Okay. And I'm going to pull this down here so that you guys can see. Sorry that this is so long. If you don't want to watch anymore, you don't have to. Just do it yourself or something. Like, I'm going to tie a ribbon. And I'm going to put it on the back. So tie a knot. Tie a knot, right? Mine's the knot's right there. Get, get a loop, two loops. Get your mom to help you if you really don't know how to do this part, like if you're really little or something. Probably aren't, but... And then I just pull that through. Eep. Made that too short. It's... What the heck? Really? What? Hurry and pull that short. You gotta call mommy and say goodnight, she said. Can't cut it short. Alright, tell me when you're ready. Okay. Huh? Okay. Now? No. Well, you better hurry up because mommy needs to talk to you. Oh, wow. Where's the phone? Over here. Huh? And then. Just tie it like you would tie a shoe. It's not really working, so I'm just gonna do some yarn hanging from it. So I'm gonna have to cut it a little bit again. <laughs> and then first tie this is a good way to do this. So tie a knot one place, but tie, don't like do a huge knot. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm just going to hang it at the front. And then you just get another tiny piece of tape, like about this big. This is like a show, so that's why it's so long, you guys. So... I do it like a 30 minute or 25 minute show. 
So this is how it looks, and now I'm going to show you how to make quick and easy um, papers for it. So first you got to get like how big they are. So just get one side of it. So I already got the cutout. It's not really a good cutout or anything. Right here. So I'm just gonna cut inside of that. This might be a longer than 30 minute show. Cause today we have a special guest and her name is Molly. Cause Molly is my new doll, so and this is a very easy craft. It just takes a lot of time. I don't try to bore you guys, but if you really want to watch these videos, thank you. But you don't have to watch them because they're very long. Just warning you. So now you just do like what you would have on a paper, or you could just write a paper, like you get a real piece of paper. So I'm just gonna write. Um, math on it. Math. And then I'm going to write name. And then I'm going to write Molly. Then I'm just going to put some equations. 2 plus 2 equals 4. 4 plus 4 equals 8. 8 plus 8 equals 16. 16 plus 16 equals 32. Let me check. Let me check on my hand. I always do this problem even though I know it. Yeah, it's 32. 32 plus 32 equals 64. 64 plus 64 equals um, 128. And then the last problem, 128 plus 128 equals hold on I'm going to write bonus. And then I'm going to write A plus plus with a smiley face. And then you just put it in there. And I'll just make a spelling worksheet later. So, thanks for watching this video. I'm sorry it was so long. So, this, I guess I'll just talk for one minute because 30 minutes is supposed to be how long the show is. And my show is awesome! So, I'll just show you the pencil I made for a real quick. So I made this pencil, I usually use it to knit, even though I'm horrible. So it's a flower, it's not really good, it has those insides and those are the petals. And this is a bow, and I just put that there. It's a pencil, it's a national in something, it's not really sharpened. So, thanks for watching, see ya!